Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2025. Uh, good to have you here. My name is Glassfeed. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to 30 Days of Sourcebook, where I'm going to prototype 30 websites slash applications using Sourcebook in the next 30 days. So as a brief overview, uh, just direct here from their GitHub, Sourcebook is a TypeScript-centric app development platform with two main products. You have an AI app builder, uh, also available hosted online, which is what we're going to be using today, uh, and a TypeScript notebook, um, which uh, essentially a Jupyter-style notebook uh, written in TypeScript with stateless cells. Uh, lots of cool features there. So rather than dig too much into it, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So basically what this does is uh, you can rapidly prototype really most anything. Uh, Sourcebook excels at different web design tasks and um, UI and uh, all that sort of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and just get started. So what I'm going to be building today is uh, a personal website uh, for myself, Glassbeat. So let's go ahead and put in here, uh, let's say build a portfolio slash personal website for a software developer layout should actually I'm not going to specify layout I'm just going to see what it gives us uh, but as far as the color scheme let me use what I usually use for my profile pictures. I'm going to say, consider the color palette of the image attached when developing the layout. Let's just see what this gives us. So you can see here uh, the different files that it's generating, and it'll have um, you know the pluses and minuses for the diffs for each one. I imagine it'll generate a couple more components. All right. So, let's take a look at this bug report. A lot there. Let's try fixing with AI. See what happens. All right, well, it did something there. Let's get into the code for a second here. So, we have these different components. Import, so it's recommended. Let's include that with feed. So, it looks like we're doing that in the main.tsx. Let's see if there's any inheritance happening within the actual components. Okay. There we go. Hi. Hi, I'm your name. I like it. All right. So, let's see what we've got here. So, I'm actually not much of a fan of this. Uh, I mean, I'll keep that up at the top. Instead, let's say, uh, place this with a minimalist layout that emphasizes, uh, let's go teal, uh, orange, and black which uh, was a popular uh, color palette that a lot of movies used like 10, 15 years ago. And we'll say, instead of the current 
Uh, let's go page directory. <laughs> page directory structure. Let's utilize an approach where we have a landing page and then separate endpoints uh, for about and uh, let's just go and contact, keep it simple. Maintain the GitHub LinkedIn and email icons in the new layout. So this is one case where it's, um, you know, maybe it gives you something that you didn't like and you just want to say, hey, give me something completely different, um, which you can do. So it's writing this out here. All right, so let's actually just see if I can have, yeah, there we go. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening there, why it's saying the build failed. That's all right. You can just go back to the apps and re-enter. So this is cool. So let's work on some layout stuff. So first of all, replace your name with glass bead. For each page's primary uh, header element, use a teal uh, orange black color palette with a glow effect. And there will be like a little uh, up or down thumb that you can use to give feedback back to Sourcebook. Which helps them give the application to give better output. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, make the glow effect. I don't know. Uh, maybe don't specify less prominent. And let's say let's include a digital rain effect in the style of the Matrix. I've used that on a couple other apps that I've made with this, and I really like what it gives you. So we'll be generating these. All right. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, so something that I do want to do... Uh, with a GitHub LinkedIn email, is I've actually got my GitHub here. So let's go uh, for the icons on the landing page. Add links to the following locations. We'll just go GitHub uh, for LinkedIn. I have here LinkedIn and email will be classbead at waldzellai.com. And once it's done with that, we'll test that out.
Alright, so do this. Sweet. LinkedIn. Well, I guess I should make sure it's gone. Yep. And there we go. Alright, awesome. So let's go to the About page. With over X years of experience in software development. <laughs> so, I'll, uh, hmm. Let's see if I want to do that on the video later. In the meantime, let's go here. Okay, so on the contact page, replace the current text with uh, hyperlinks to the pages from before. I think it's probably going to preserve that pretty well, but might as well since I could just copy paste. Fantastic. We'll try those. Yep. Awesome. Bada boom. All right. So let's go to the about section, which I'm not sure. I want to like go through and do my actual about me brand new. So what we can do is just copy my bio from GitHub and we'll say replace the about me text with that. Mom at it. Let's just go ahead and link my blog. Cool. Now in the contact and home pages add actually how about this? Add another page in point called blog that links to my medium page. Let's just uh, let's just say redirects. All right. Let's see if it pulls this off. Sweet. I actually don't know if it's going to really like that. So let's, let's go back out and... Yeah. So, what I can do... So I'll go here. Okay, so... This might work, but in the meantime, just to make this visible, I'll go back here. Instead of redirecting the user directly, let's make the blog page a standard web page in the same format as the others included here with a link to the blog and a brief description. And all right, fantastic. And this is <laughs> it's a little bit haphazard, but it, I mean, it includes things that are in my tech stack. Um, 
yeah, this is awesome. And so if I go to read on medium, there we go. So, I mean, I've got pretty much a functioning website here. I'm going to make a couple of stylistic changes and then um, go ahead and get it deployed. So this dev.canvas up here, let's update the dev.canvas in the top left corner to say glass bead. And it's still a little bit I don't know, a little too glowy, a little like not enough of the actual letter right there, so I'm going to have it update that. Oh no. <laughs> oh well. Not that hard to do. So we'll go to home page and actually I think that component is going to be the nav bar and that'll just say class bead and if we go back to preview there we go so that seems like as good a place as any to end um so I'll uh, update this a little bit um, before I actually get it deployed. But by the time you're looking at this video, you'll be able to go and visit the website. Uh, and we've done all of this plus the intro in uh, looks like about 17 minutes here. So um, it's an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, I mean, I've got a full just website for myself here in, in you know about 15 minutes and uh, we'll move on to more complicated stuff as time goes on, but um, I figured that that would be a oops. I figured that would be a good intro to Sourcebook. So welcome to 30 Days of Sourcebook, everybody, and uh, I'll see you guys around. See you tomorrow.